Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create a 3D looking lighting effect on any shape that you decide to draw in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump into it. First, what you're gonna do is create a new file. It doesn't really matter what size you do. Uh, for this one, we're just gonna do 1920 by 1080. The next step is gonna to be to draw a circle. Um, take up pretty much any size you want on your artboard, whatever size you want it to be. We are going to make sure there's no stroke and just add a fill. This fill can be whatever color you want it to be. I'm gonna do a dark blue here, but I would just do any color on the darker end of the spectrum and you'll see why a little later on in the video. So once we have our color selected, what we can do is kind of make this shape a little bit more interesting rather than just a circle. We're gonna change it into kind of a cool little blobby form. So to do that, we're gonna do the A tool, make sure we select just one of our anchor points by clicking on it. And then we can kind of have some fun moving these shapes around until we get a form that we're, uh, we're happy with. So maybe bring this back over here a bit. This one out like this. And then maybe this one down a little bit more. So we get uh, an interesting looking shape. The next thing that we're gonna do is make sure that we have our shape selected again. And we're gonna go up into Object, Create Gradient Mesh. What this is gonna do is create a grid of points on our object that we can adjust and change um, to whatever color we like. So for this tutorial, we're gonna do four and four, but as you can see, you know, as you add more rows, um, you get more points to change, but for this one, four is fine. So once you do that, just click okay. And you'll see that we have all these points that we can adjust. So what we're gonna do first is select the center point with our, again, our direct select tool over here. You can shortcut that by clicking A. Um, and then what we're gonna do is change the color of that specific point to something pretty close to white, not quite white, but um, we'll go there, and then why don't we bring it down to a little bit more of uh, a cyan. Click OK with that. Then the next step we're gonna do is click all of the points surrounding this center point. So that, and then what we'll do is shift click to select all of the points. Once you have all those selected, we're gonna go back over to our color picker and change that to more of a greenish color can play around with that. And then you have a pretty 3D looking shape. So like I said in the beginning, you wanted to have kind of a darker color so that you get that that edge, uh, that darker edge that kind of gives it that 3D look. Um, and then from here we can play around with it if we want to. Like say you wanted to change this side of the figure to um, maybe like a, a warmer tone. We can bring that down to, to uh, maybe like a warmer yellow. Um, and maybe this corner of the figure, we want to do a bit of a, a darker blue. So we'll bring this down here, get a little more saturation in there. And yeah, this is a super fun tool to play around with. Um, I don't love the way this looks, so why don't we just bring these back to maybe more of an orange, maybe a red, get some more saturation in there. Yeah. Um, super easy to play around with, super easy to adjust colors, um, and fun to get uh, a different look. Why don't we just bring this a little bit towards a darker color here, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll call it good there. Um, you can definitely do some more finer point adjustments if you'd like on your shape. You can add more rows, more columns, whatever you'd like to do. But to finish this off, what I think we're going to do is add a little bit of a, a grain to this to give it a bit of texture. So what we can do is come over here to effect, we'll go to artistic, and then we'll go to film grain. I'm gonna pull the grain down a little bit on this to make the effect a little bit more subtle, and then we'll just hit okay. Uh, it'll take a second for that to load, but then you'll see that we get kind of like an airbrush texture on this shape, which I think is pretty neat, and uh, yeah, super fun tool to play around with. You know, you can use this for, for posters, you could use it for an app design, a website, uh, whatever you may choose to do, but this is a super fun way to create different shapes uh, with a somewhat of a 3D look and uh, play around with different colors and get something unique. So that's pretty much it for today's tutorial, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, it would be awesome if you'd hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in more videos like this in the future. Thanks for stopping by.